I'm Ryan and I've been hacking things my whole life. All right, so last year I failed at making a hydroponic garden that's water only, no dirt, no pesticides, it's great. I put too much chemical in, I had huge mass of plants but no fruit. This thing fell over. Today I'm gonna build a nice stable one that's off the grid using solar panels. So I was forced to expand that hole a couple minutes ago with this uh, with this large bit. And even though that it worked and it was tight, it was a pain in the butt. Incidentally, those uh, threads for that particular uh, uh, pipe do not fit close together. So I had to make this uh, plastic washer on my laser cutter, which went um, on top of it and it enabled it to have a tight, tight fit. So the way that the hydroponic garden works is that as the water comes down and feeds all of the roots, it ends up depositing in a reservoir that typically has fish in it and it's pumped all the way to the back um, top and it comes back down. So what I'm gonna use for a reservoir is this black container that I got at Target and I'm gonna put the pump system in this is the pump system here and I'm going to have a UV filter and it's going to have a, uh, let me see if I can find it here. Here is the top of the filter right here. This is the top and this is the bottom with the bio balls in there. <laughs>
taken me around three days to get all of the parts and put everything together. I had extremely good weather, so I didn't have to worry about that. I do have one more thing I have to do. I'm currently using an AC pump. I need to convert that over to a DC pump. I found a great one on Amazon that has enough flow that can pump both of my channels. Another thing I wanted to mention to you that you're gonna have to really keep an eye on the end caps. If you use silicon to seal those, um, a lot of it, really goopy, you will not have any leaks because the corners are not perfect. So make sure that you add a lot of silicon before and then don't worry about adding some extra. So I'm really looking forward to this. This is a couple days growth on the roots. Everything is kicking, um, but here's uh, a little bit of advice. Make sure that you get as much dirt out of the plant as possible because the advice that I got was to leave a little bit of the dirt in from the store, absolutely not. That soggy dirt causes a major issue with the root system. The roots need to say, hey, I'm going down. So make sure that you have as little dirt as possible. Um, enjoy, again, make something that connects you with other people. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend or day, whatever it is. Take care. Oh, and by the way, subscribe um, and watch my other channel if you wanna hear some behind the scenes stuff. Thanks.